So just who gets hit most by the diesel price hike? Vikram Chaudhary has this report from Punjab where farmers say the hike will mean that their input costs will shoot up tremendously. 60-year-old Gurmukh Singh of Mullapur in Mohali district is a very worried man. Since he got to know that the subsidy on diesel will be gradually withdrawn and every month he would have to pay about 50 paisa more for every litre of diesel. A weak monsoon increased his costs as he had to pump out groundwater using diesel chain sets. Here in Punjab, farmer uses diesel in every stage of farming, right from using tractors in the fields to pumping out water from the ground and then transporting the produce to the market on the tractor. Farmers say input costs would certainly go up. But then, what about the minimum support price? Some experts say an increase of 2 rupees per litre in the price of diesel would make the input cost per acre go up by about 1000 rupees to 2000 rupees, depending on how much water is required to be pumped out. Farmers like Daulat Singh are also worried about food prices going up, a double blow for them. Also, the price they get for their produce does not go up in the same proportion as their input costs. They are now desperately hoping that the government would revise this decision or at least subsidize diesel for farmers. While it may make sound good economic sense to the government and many others to remove the subsidy on diesel, for farmers, it's a rude shock, a decision that is likely to push many deeper into poverty and debt. In Mullapur with camera person Ashwini Mehra, Vikram Chaudhary for NDTV. The decision of the government to allow oil firms to hike diesel prices, which could ultimately result in a 45 paise plus hike per litre of diesel, has been met by strong protests. Several of the government's own allies, the DMK and the Samajwadi Party, have hit out at the decision, which came a day ahead of the Congress Party's massive Chintan Shivir in Jaipur, an opportunity for the party to think through some of the biggest challenges facing both the nation and the party. Those who defend the government say the massive fuel subsidy for selling diesel, LPG and kerosene below market rates could cost the government 1,67,000 crores in 2012-2013 and the decision to hike diesel rates was therefore inevitable. The government presently loses 9 rupees 60 paise per litre of diesel which is sold. But the question we are asking is this. Was this decision more a political blunder than sound economics? As the Congress tries to find a balance between its allies and its policies, can there actually be a winning formula? Joining us, Rajya Sabha MP of the BJP, Mr. Chandan Mitra, spokesperson of the Congress, Sanjay Jha also with us, D. Raja, the Rajya Sabha MP of the CPI, Sajid Chinoy, India Economist with J.P. Morgan, Professor Himanshu, Economics Professor at GNU. And for a perspective on how this is going to actually affect the auto sector, likely in a very big way, Horma Sorabji, the editor of Autocar India. Thank you all very much for joining us. Mr. Mitra, if I can come to you first. Between April and December 2012, under recoveries for diesel in this country stood at 73,815 crore rupees. If the BJP had been in power today, wouldn't it also have been incumbent on the BJP to reduce the subsidy burden that exists? Vishnu, under recoveries have been a phenomenon uh, in India and this is inevitable, not just in India but in every developing country because international prices rise and fall and it is incumbent upon the government to subsidize certain things like fertilizers, like kerosene, uh, diesel and so on because these affect um, every man's um, <coughs> lifestyle and, and the economy as a whole. So that subsidy has to be built into the system. Now here the government spends lakhs of crores subsidizing various other things but 
when it comes to subsidizing something like diesel which on which your entire public transport network including railways buses and your lorries and trucks that move um, uh, food items all this depends on diesel so yes if there are under recoveries there will be under recoveries what is the i mean a big issue suddenly this term has become in vogue and this has always been the case there are various ways to kind of manage the um, uh, losses that are being incurred there is the customs duty uh, factor the refining charges which are among the highest taxes on petroleum products in india are among the highest in the world india's number one news app just got even better download any tv's new app fully optimized for retina display full screen view faster response time and sudoku ndtv's new ipad app download now